So I'm here at Abacus with the winemaker for one of the best known wine labels from New Zealand. This is Anthony Walkenhorst. And Anthony, I understand you've been the head, head of winemaking at Kim Crawford um, for three years now. Yes, yeah, I started uh, started with the company back in 2005 and um, and gradually sort of worked my way up with the company and uh, yeah, about three years ago I was promoted to head winemaker. So the wine that Kim Crawford makes, which people in Dallas are probably most familiar with, it's the Sauvignon Blanc. Yeah. Uh, perhaps you could explain to us what is different about New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc from, say, Sauvignon Blanc from California. Uh, well, I think New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc is is amazingly uh, pungent. It's got some great float fruit flavors that are coming through. So grapefruit in the nose? Yep, yep. Um, just loads of fruit in there. So basically, as soon as you put your nose in the glass, you know that it's a New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc. And uh, what would you say would be the best kinds of foods to have with it? Uh, you know, I guess Sauvignon Blanc goes perfectly well with seafood, all sorts of seafood, uh, scallops, shrimps, uh, chicken dishes as well, works perfectly well with chicken as well. And turning to the uh, other wines that I've seen from New Zealand, I've noticed there'd be more and more uh, Pinot Noirs on the market. In fact, um, I'm going to zoom down here. We have a bottle of yours here, and this is from Marlborough. Um, whereabouts in New Zealand is Marlborough, and what type of Pinot Noirs, what's the character of the Pinot Noirs that come out of there? So, Marlborough's on the top of the South Island, and we're right on the coast there, so it's a very coastal influenced climate. Um, we get the nice hot days, lots of sunshine, and then at night time it drops down to, to around about 50, below 50 or so, and uh, you know we get those nice cool nights as well. So that helps to retain the acid, which helps us really create those fresh fruit flavours that New Zealand wines are so well known for. So if I had a Pinot Noir from Marlborough in New Zealand, and I, let's say I'm used to Burgundies, I'm used to Oregon, I'm used to California Pinot Noir. Yeah. Which of those would the New Zealand Pinot Noir from Marlborough be most similar to? Well, I guess it's relatively unique in itself, but I guess probably if you have to draw a comparison, probably in Oregon, a uh, little bit sort of a New World style, very fresh fruit flavours coming forward. Uh, we don't really use too much oak, so we want to basically capture those berry flavours in the wine and have them finished off in the bottle. Great. And are there any other areas of New Zealand where Pinot Noir is flourishing? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Central Otago is uh, the other big region. Now where's that? So that's uh, a little bit further south. It's actually the most southerly wine region in the world. So that's really cool. It is very cool. Uh, quite, although extreme climates. Uh, it's, it's further inland. So it gets really hot summers, very, very cold winters, uh, and the flavours are totally different to the Marlborough Pinot Noir. Anthony, uh, lots of people are going to be enjoying your wines tonight at Abacus. Thanks very much for talking to Side Dish. Thank you.